The city of Pembroke Pines has renamed a street to honor a little boy who was tragically killed last year. His mother says she wants her son's young life to have a lasting legacy. Saturday, Southwest 72nd Avenue in Pembroke Pines officially became Taylor Bishop Avenue. March 21, we had a terrible tragedy in the city of Pembroke Pines. Well, May 22, we're going to try to make that better. It was last March when a horrific accident took the life of four-year-old Taylor. He and his mother, Kiki Bishop, were driving in the area when a plane came crashing down into their car as it tried to make its way back to the North Perry Airport. Oh, it feels um, just painfully beautiful to be here and honoring Taylor and making sure that everyone knows that his legacy was about being Taylor tough. Wearing his favorite color green, loved ones came together along with city officials and first responders to pay tribute. Riding in the car with Taylor was his favorite bear, Chevy. While I was at the hospital, my brother-in-law asked me if there was anything I needed that could possibly be recovered from the car. My heart sank. I had to ask for my son's bear. That's what prompted Kiki to start an organization called Taylor's Teddy Bears for officers and firefighters to keep in their vehicles to give to children in distress. The city also dedicated a bench with a plaque under a shady tree. It was a day of joyful but also difficult memories. I want to wish each of the mothers in attendance a very happy Mother's Day. Read the same book for the tenth time. Let them sit on your lap a little longer. Don't worry about the dishes or the floors and sing that song. And let them have the dessert no matter how much of the dinner they didn't eat. The intersection of Southwest 72nd Avenue and 13th Street will forever honor Taylor's life and be a place for peace.